first look at the game. Hell, our home. Frozen. One spark is enough to reignite a revolution. The Bone Shaker, our trade, travels the rail connecting our two worlds. The last surviving remains of the pyre drives the heart of our engine. wing will stop at nothing to destroy it. But the champions of hell will defend what's ours. Because if we don't, there will be nothing left to defend. <laughs> it's just a shame why it's a series. Is this no fish of the game? Uh, what I think of once I like once I did. I, it was a little, it was a little hectic, but I was enjoying it. I haven't played it recently though. I got, I got caught up into TFT. Welcome to hell. Your train is carrying precious cargo, the last remaining shard of the pyre. You needed to relight the fires in the depths of hell. Hell takes everything seriously, I, I, I guess. Uh, invaders from heaven, the wings, will do anything to prevent you from completing your journey. You must make wise decisions and build up your band of monsters to have any hope of success. Good luck, Hellborn. All right, let's go. All right, so we go first battle. Cool. Heaven's priests. These disciples have dedicated themselves to the service of heaven and will attempt to restore the life of their companions. Well, sure, I can't let you do that. Protect your pyre. This is your pyre. If it takes too much damage from enemy attacks, your run is over. Good to know. If you die, you die. Enemies have boarded your train. Enemies enter at the lowest level and move up one level every turn. If they reach the top, they'll attack your pyre. We get cards. Okay, summon units to defend your train. You can play each u each unit card once per battle. So I'm going to play this Horn Breaker Prince. He has a multi-strike, which means he attacks an additional time each turn. Boom. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Each floor of the train has limited capacity. The amount of space a unit will take up is indicated by the number of pips on the card. So this is taking up two space. The train gets crowded. Alright, so that's taking two space. We can put a little steward behind her. Boom. And you know what? We'll do a little torch on that guy. Because he had one life. I'm sure he was powerful, but he's weak. Uh, I guess we can do something else. Boom. And then we end turn. Curse you, foul beasts. So my guy did two strikes, and then this girl in the back did some damage as well. Oh, they're moving up now. Oh, and they keep summoning. Protect the Bone Shaker. Wait, but now I gotta stop that guy. Wait a minute. Did that guy torch him down before he gets up there? I think so. So, restore health. How about this? We'll put a steward up here. If they ever make it up there. But in the meantime, I'm going to torch your ass. Oh, I forgot to torch a guy in the back. Oopsies. I forgot to torch a guy in the back. That was my bad. Can I move my guys up? How do I move my guys up? I'll enjoy dismantling your train. All right. So this guy's going to kill that guy because he does 5 damage. Do, who, I don't know who attacks first. Do I have priority? I'm going to assume I have priority. This guy's dead. We can torch this guy. We don't have any more torches. Whoopsies. Can you go up? Interesting. So if you can't go up, then that's a problem. Which one health at the end of your turn. Well, these guys don't do that much damage, so I can give him regen. Enemies attack first. Okay, well, I still kill this guy then. Boom. Dead. And then you have a guy waiting for you up there. Oh, final wave. The disciples will stop you in your tracks. Defeat the boss to win the battle. His relentless ability means that combat will continue in this room until you or he is defeated. 
Uh, that's problematic. I need to torch that guy right there so that he doesn't heal. Oh shit, wait, 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 wait. I need to torch that guy so that he doesn't heal. I just realized. Now he's gonna heal and go up. Ah, I didn't stop. He's relentless. Holy shit. Oh, I did not play this perfectly. That, that floor is gone. Okay. Well, he's torching. This first floor is actually kind of difficult, so like... I can imagine this game gets hard. Boom! Achievement unlocked early survivor. Okay. We took two damage, we got minus two percent, and we got a two turn boss rush. So we beat the boss in two turns. And we get... An allied clan plaque, a clan pack, and some 50 coins. Interesting concept. Choose a card. Welder helper. Okay. Apply armor 15 to the front front of the unit. I like this. Damage is dealt to armor before health. Each point of armor blocks one point of damage and is then removed. Okay. Apply 6 rage. Rage is plus 2 attack per stack. So it gives somebody 12 extra damage. And then it goes down every turn. So it goes from 12 to 10. To 8. To 6. To 4. To 2. To 0. Cool. Okay, summon. Apply rage to friendly units. That's really good. The hell? This fledgling imp is great. You put him in there and then everybody in that room gets six strength. Only on that floor. But that's fine. Six strength to everybody in that room. Uh, there was only so much space on a train, so it's, at maximum, I'm probably going to be like two extra units. But that's still really good, in my opinion. All right, apply five region. Can only be played once. It gets out of your deck. So I like things that get out of my deck, so I can just like get some value out of them and boom, goodbye. Restore ten health to a friendly unit. Deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to the four times the amount healed. So if we heal for ten, we get forty damage. That's crazy for bosses, probably, but. I don't have any units that can heal up to 10. At most, I can heal up to like what? 5, 8, 7. Maybe later on, restoration detonation could actually be useful. At the moment, it doesn't seem very good. So we'll take our Slay this Bar tactics and we'll only take cards that make sense at the moment, right? So we're stored to health to all friendly units and this is just good. Now we could skip and get gold. But this restores to health and then does damage to the units. Eh. I'm taking a while with Zap. It looks like a noble game. Well, let's, let's give it some more time before we decide, right? Merchant of Steel. This is forges your units to gain new powers, or we have Merchant of Magic forges your spells to gain new powers. So, do we want, do we want to go for? We we can go for the Awoken Banner and get an Awoken unit, or we can go for a Hellhorn Banner and get a Hellhorn unit. Well, let's go on this side. Let's go to Merchant of Steel. We'll try out both sides. See what it is. So we have 125 gold to so remove a card. We have 50 gold to spend it, and then we can buy. What it appears to be relics. Upgrade a unit with rage 5. I could upgrade a unit and give them upgrades. Whoa! Upgrade a unit with multi strike. Give the unit rage so they have a lot of strength. That not Fury Stone really good on my guy that does multi strike already? So this guy. Oh, I can't upgrade him. Whoopsies. Can I go back? <laughs> Never mind. I thought I could upgrade the guy that has a multi strike. Okay. So how about we remove some of these stewards? Let me see our deck. Can I see where's my deck here? Hey, how you doing, Sam? How you doing, buddy? Here's my deck. Okay. So Hornbreaker Prince is what I was trying to do. This is my champion. Okay, that makes sense. He already has multi tech. It would be nice to give him some rage, but I, I, apparently I can't. So we have a lot of restores, a lot of torches, and a lot of. I want to get rid of some of these restores. I don't think they're that good. Now I could be wrong, but it feels like the restores. Are the worst cards in my deck. So I want to remove one of those. 
And now I can upgrade one of my other units with some spikes. So when a unit is attacked, the attacker takes one damage per stack. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna remove another <laughs> restore. Actually. There we go. So we're just gonna remove cards and keep. Oh, we get to choose a card. A horned warrior or a deranged brute. Rage on friendly units adds an additional. Oh my god, that's good. Because I have a friendly imp that gives three rage to every friendly unit. Deranged brute has a big health pool as well. Alright, so now I, I want to have gold to upgrade those units, but I spent all my money removing. Anyways, let's go battle. Barb Disciples. These spiked foes will make direct attacks more painful. Using spells from afar will let you fight without sacrificing your units. Yeah, I know Restore got an extra attack. Region was not bad, but like I don't want seven of them in my deck. So this is my champion, and we have Deranged Brute. So what I, what I want to do... I want to put the Brute in front, because he's tanky, yeah? Combat previews are now enabled. The preview number shows the amount of damage each unit would take during the next combat phase. A red X means the unit will be defeated. If you put this guy in the back. And we'll torch this guy in the back. This unit can take up to 20 damage before losing health. That's armor. Okay, cool. So then I'll just pass. Actually, I'll put this up here. And now we end turn. Now that guy's gonna die. Alright. So they got spikes. And this does 4 damage. It has 1 life. This does... Everything on the other floor has 2 spikes. So let's do that. Get rid of the spikes. Kill this guy in the back. And we'll just save these cards. I don't need to do anything here. Well, restore, I can keep playing, right? So let's try it on our pyre. Ah, uh, we can't restore the pyre. It's good to know. So we'll give this guy restore. So since this guy has um, a lot of health pool, let's make him have the ability to restore life. And we're kind of managing this pretty well. The next thing I want to do is put a little imp between these guys, because the imp is going to make these guys have rage. And then this floor is going to be out of control. Boom. We achieving a lot called simple. And now we'll just pass. So these guys are going to do a lot of damage. And this is the final wave. And this, we're going to give this guy more region. And we're going to torch these. And we're just going to go at it. And this, does this guy have relentless? Is this relentless? I can't tell. He has relentless. Alright guys. I think our rage should be pretty good because we do have the deranged brute making the rage even better. Let's check it out. Snack. Bam. Bam. Multi-hit. Boom. Boom. Multi-hit. Boom. Boom. Click the game speed to, to toggle speed now. Just watch this. Boom. Damn. We cleaned that up beautifully. Three turn boss rush. No damage taken. And we got some more packs. Okay. Battering Ram. Deal damage to the front enemy equal to four times the amount of armor on friendly units. Armor on friendly units. Now, I don't really have armor on friendly units right at the moment. Piercing Horn Break. Deal five damage. This gets through armor. This seems pretty good. The ability to do five damage that is piercing seems like it might be useful. Apply 15 armor to the front friendly unit. That's not bad. But armor does stay until it's taking hits. So that could be useful to keep somebody alive. I can imagine Welder is actually very good to keep somebody alive. Deal damage to the front enemy unit equals to the amount of armor on friendly units. Um, I can imagine Battery Ram is very good. Like, this is like a body slam. But only after you have the stuff that gives you armor. So it's between, for me, the ability to keep a, a unit alive or 5 damage. I'm going to do 5 damage. Enhance with 4... What is that? 4 attack? Okay, for strength. Modify a car or unit for the duration of battle. You also give them four spikes. And that's just a one-time buff on a unit? That seems really good. You want to do battle with Sap? <laughs> His name already has the thing that he wants to get. Let's try Sharpen. 
It is cost two though, right? So you gotta be mindful of the energy. I'm sure as I get better at the game, I'll skip a lot more cards. So this is Herzog's Horde. You gain an artifact. Or we can duplicate any card except for your champion. And we can also get 20 health back from our Spire. And there's also something interesting that can be found in the Frozen Hellbunt Caves. If we go this way, we get an artifact. And we get a, a unit. Now, do I want to duplicate a card? Let's take a look. Because a part of me is like, this deranged brute is pretty insane. No? How about we duplicate this deranged brute? You guys want the relic? I want, the, I want a second brute. This guy's pretty nice. And we can take the inspire health. Why not? Only need two of it. And then we'll take this little cavern and see what's going on here. Snowpiercer. A fissure in the ice forces. The bone shaker to stop. You've seen cracks like this before. Often allowing you to multiply your forces through some ancient magic. But this one is different. Unstable. Throwing something into the fissure could have unusual side effects. While just absorbing the energy from afar could have the more expected effects. How do you approach the ice fissure? Throw a card, copy it five times, or just copy a card? Hmm. Do we want that many brutes, though? Do we want that many brutes? That just seems too many. What about a shit ton of fledgling imps? These brutes are... They're good, but... Okay, you guys wanna try it? Fuck it, let's try it. You should be sinks into the fissure, followed by a bright flash of light, then nothing. The fissure closes. All that's left are several copies of what you tossed in. Unstable, but strong. We have uh, seven brutes in our deck. Holy shit. These are good cards. I'll take it. Daedalus. Moving on forward. Daedalus. Heavily armored creations protect this ex-professor in his quest to safeguard Seraph in the wings. Plating seal. Constructed explosives entered with damage shield. Nullify the next source of damage. So they have a buffer. These things have the ability to nullify the first hit. Which is something you can play around. So if I, if I torch it, boom, torch. Ah, you buffered that. Now you get 10 to the face from my brute. Daedalus is the strongest boss you faced yet. He moves between floors freely, but can be attacked if you clear other enemies on that floor. He moves between floors freely, but can be attacked if you clear out the other enemies on that floor. Watch out for the triggers. This bomb has a triggered ability and will explode on its turn, dealing damage. Mouse over units with the purple trigger icon to see the details of their abilities. Despawn and deal 10 damage to the front enemy unit. And he's gonna explode when? On his turn? And if it just explodes on nothing, do I take damage? Does he go up and explode? Is that what happens? Do they have the ability to go up and then explode? Take a look at this stuff. So we can attack this guy only if we clear that stuff on the floor. So that's why I guess it's important to kill these bombs because then that's how you get to attack him. For right now, I want to deal with the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these disciplined foot soldiers. I'm going to play my brute. And then, if it only does 10 damage, I guess I don't risk it and I try to see what happens. Let's try this. And we put our champion in the back of this guy. Let's see what happens. So he's going to explode me. That sucks. But now I can attack him, which is useful. And we have to put restore. So we do have a wormwood sap that allows us to heal for a decent amount of life. And now he's down on the bottom floor. Okay. We have a lot of brutes. Look at this. We have too many brutes, I would say. Let's put this brute in front so this brute doesn't take too much damage. Alright, what does this do? Triggers when you cast a spell on this floor. Plus one strike. This guy is pretty beefy. He's got 25 life. Nah, there's no brutes. Having all these units is actually quite useful. Because like those, th the boss has to get through those units. When it does the boss rush, it has to get through these units at the end of the day. But this is where I want my Warwound Sap to get some uh, some region going on. 
Does this have the plated armor? So it nullifies the next source of damage. So if I do double... Double torch, I can kill it. And then we'll put, like, rage here. So that we can actually try to hopefully get some damage on the boss. Even though these things are blocking it. Get some damage. Boom, multi-strike. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, isn't he supposed to have multi-strike? Oh, that's not my champion. Oopsies. So now I want some, like... Now that I see how this bite is going, I would want some more region in terms of, like, uh... Like, AoE healing. That's what I kind of want. This is a Disciple Protector. This has 20 armor. Now, Hornbreak could help and kill that. Boom. Hornbreak just destroyed that man. I'm glad we have that card. Good tech, good tech. And we can torch the bomb twice so that it doesn't take too much damage on this floor. Let's go up. Can I go up? Alright, and turn. This guy's getting kind of low. But, no worries. Alright, I want to give this guy region. Uh, he's actually going to die. Uh, no, I can, I can save him, right? Some cells can only be played once per battle. Cards will consume or place in the consume pile when played. They will not be available. Okay, that's perfect. This guy is the one on the bottom floor. So, I actually get to keep him alive. And it's important to do it because since he's on the bottom floor... Uh, he's going to be taking most of the damage. And he's just going to get out of range of dying because he was going to die, but the little restore actually saved his ass. And now he regions for a lot. Final wave. Oh, here he is. Shit, he has Relentless too. Wait, how am I going to win this? Guys, I don't think I can win this. Sorry, I had to help out with something. Alright. I don't know. We might, I'm a little bit worried about if this boss is going to beat me. And, I, you know, I'm curious. If the boss beats me, then learning experience. Alright? So, best thing I can do is torch this guy to keep these guys alive a little bit more. And, uh... Torch the boss. And let's go. Hell too cold for hell horns. He's going to regen? He's dead. I don't know how I'm going to kill this guy. Because I can't resummon. And this guy can't heal. And he attacks first, so my guy's dead. So I need to put region on, on one of my guys up here. So that by the time he gets to that floor, this guy's going to be okay. And since he moves to the next floor, this floor is closed, I can't even play units anymore. So I think I'm supposed to just, I mean, this is when I'm supposed to discover what happens when it gets to the top floor. This is like how I'm supposed to discover that, I suppose. There's no way I can get to that health pool. Maybe my deck is just trash because I duplicated 7,000 cards. Ah. Okay. Ah. Okay, I see. So if I let that guy die, then I could have actually played more boots. So since I actually have so many boots in my deck, I should be more mindful of letting some of my guys die so I can actually replace them. Instead of wasting stuff like that. That's good to know. We got a rare pack. Draft a primary or L unit clan or clan unit and major enhancements. All right, so that was our first boss. We lost a lot of life, so we didn't get a very good score there. Choose a rare card. Double armor on a unit. Cycle of life. Enhance a unit with plus ten health. Apply four spikes. That seems really good. Restore friendly units to full health. Wait, that seems insane. That's the AOE heal I was talking about. So we have these big ass brutes. So why not do unleash the wild wood and make all my big brutes go back to full life? 
But also, giving a unit plus 10 health and 4 spikes is like an interesting thing as well. I'm gonna do the Unleash the Wildwood. Unit draft. Okay, so this is a 3 piece, which is actually good because it, currently, right now, I can do 2-2 two, two, and I can only have one unit that's a 1 pip. But if I have a 3-2, then I can actually have like, this is actually a f crazy unit. A 40-40. Resolve. After combat, you gain armor. Wait, so this is actually very clever. I put this in the top floor, and he just keeps gaining armor. Slowly, he's getting armor. And he's like... A scaling unit, so that when the boss comes, he actually is like a formidable force. And depending how long the battle goes, this guy can get a lot of armor over time. And then there's things where like I could double a unit's armor, so there's reinforce, so I can get a lot of armor in this guy, then double that armor, and then do a lot of damage. So there's some armor tricks that I can go on here. This guy is a weak unit, but does a shit ton of damage. This guy takes up your whole turn. I think I take the Demon Fiend. <laughs> Wait, I don't actually have an energy relic, so I only have three energy, so if I don't get energy relic, that Demon Fiend is not being played. It's like a Meteor Strike with three energy. So hopefully we get some energy, and boom. We got some energy. We get plus one ember per turn, and your pirate gets plus 10 attack and plus 30 life. We can draw one extra card a turn, or we can get extra capacity on each floor. Whoa, these enhancements are actually insane. You have the ability to go for more ember per turn, which is good for big units that I just took. The ability to draw more so you can cycle heavy decks. Or the ability to actually play more units, which is actually quite good, because that means I can do three boots on a floor. So I could do three brutes on the floor with this, but then I can't play the Demon Fiend I just picked up. No, I didn't know this was a thing, but now that I do, I kind of want to play three brutes on the floor. Fuck it, we're doing the, the energy because we have the Demon Fiends. But maybe next time we'll get the, the Seraph's Embrace. Or whatever it's called. Alright, Merchant of Steel, forge new, your units to get new powers, or you get some gold and get new powers over here. We also get a Hellhorned unit. We also get... The ability to remove two cards from my deck. We also get some healing, which we kind of need. Alright, so we have the ability to get an upgrade on our, one of our Brutes, which we have seven of them. So that feels less good when we have seven Brutes. Get another unit, which I don't really want more units. So I'm going to go for the gold. I'm going to go for the Merchant of Magic. I actually haven't seen this yet either. Upgrade a spell to cost one less. Upgrade a spell with plus 10 magic power. Increase the amount of damage, doubt, and health for sure. Okay, that's insane. Power spell is insane. So, I can make my healing, like my restore, for instance. So, this is, is, imagine a world where I don't have seven brutes in my deck. Let me just, I'm talking about like the next run, right? And you have a restore that does for one ember, 10 healing, and like, I don't know, 20 region. And your deck is small, you purge a lot of units, you purge a lot of cards, and you have a small little deck that is pretty uh, streamlined. So you get something like Power Stone, and you can make something like a Restore, for instance, or a Torch, or a Piercing thing. So right now my deck is 26 cards, that's quite heavy. That's my own design. But in the future, I can try to make it a little bit smaller and actually take some advantage of Power Stone. But for right now, I don't know what would be the best thing. I can make it this better. Maybe Sharpen is the best thing. Does it work on things like Sharpen? Let's check it out. <laughs> ah, it doesn't work on Sharpen. It works on things like Torch and Restore. And having something that like Piercing Damage... That now does, what, 15 Piercing Damage? That seems really good. <laughs> What's Holdover? When played, this card is placed on top of your draw pile next turn. Holy shit. <laughs> One played goes back on top of your deck. What if I just keep doing Hornbreak? <laughs> and make a spell cost one less. Make sharpen cheaper. Nice. So we upgraded a lot of our spells. That's really good. Let's get some some health and let's carry on. Kind of a medium spell. Well, we're gonna figure that out. It's okay. I don't, I don't, I don't care if making some mistakes in the first couple runs. Undergo trials for greater risk and reward. Activating the trial will make this battle more difficult, but you'll earn an extra reward if you win. Turn it on. All right. So the trial is non-boss enemy units enter with four spikes. 
We get a random artifact if we would. Let's do it. Time to do trial. So we can make it a little bit harder. That's cool. Clip tormentors. They might be low level recruits or, recruits of the clips, but they'll overload you with the penance if you don't take them out quickly. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Retribution. That's what they got. They're playing music. Alright, so this guy is no damage, but he's a beefy 40 armor dude. So this is why Horm. My thing that, that pierces armor is very good here. So what I want to do is, I want to go over here. Because I'm not quite ready. I'm not quite ready to attack that guy. I'd rather wait for the piercing and kill that guy outright with piercing. Oh, they, when, when you don't do anything in front, you get like a... What the hell? What, what did they put in my deck? Weight of Contrition. Your power takes 3 damage. This guy has 70 life. Put the Fiend there. Oh, shit. Was that what gave me the Weight of Contrition? I didn't check. I don't know how I got that. Ah, uh, this guy does it. Okay, we gotta kill that guy ASAP. So we actually- our deck is so fat, we need to get that piercing thing ASAP. This guy adds cards. So we need to kill that guy. Fuck. Oh, that's really problematic. Um, let's do this. This one might be doing this fine. I added seven brutes. I would imagine this doomed. It's like going to slay the spire and adding like seven uppercuts into your deck. That's that's typically doomed. Seven uppercuts is not very good. But it is a little bit different because these are units. But still, my deck is fat as hell. Like my I, my upgraded spell, I haven't even seen it yet. I upgraded a super crazy spell, and I haven't even seen it yet. So that's unfortunate. Spikes are too much? No, I don't think so. The problem is I, I didn't get my spell, so it's a little unlucky. It's a little unlucky, that's all. The spell would have helped a lot. Oh, I just lost my the Demon Hound. I didn't pay attention. Because I didn't keep track that they have four spikes. That's my bad. I'm not paying attention. Uh, I need to put something like Warmer on that guy. Unfortunately, I did not pay attention. It's all much harder from here. This is the porcupine. Okay. Uh, I think I want to kill these guys in the back. Otherwise, it's going to get... Oh, I can't even do Unleash the Wildwood on my, my Demon Hound. It's dead. That's quite unfortunate. Uh, why? I might be dead here. Boss has a lot of HP. And I also kind of used my, uh... I use my... I also, sometimes I can't even use all my units because the, the, the fight ends before I can use all my units. I use my rage thing too early. So, because I have all these units, it's actually quite beneficial for me to get the, the ability to have more space on my train. I might die here. Oh, I can do the math. I'm, I am dead. 
if I had a little bit more life, we could have won. But now I understand the fundamentals of the game. So we're just not going to make seven brutes. And it's going to be a win, like, easily.